Morning chat, morning. How is everybody doing? Uh, let me quickly pop myself on. Hello, hello. We are back for another Friday of Lost Caverns of Ixalan drafting. Will today be the day we see a Gishath? That's the real question. We've been looking for him. We haven't seen him yet. Fingers crossed we'll get him eventually. It would be great if he was first pick, and then we could just build straight big dino boys. But I'm, I'm even using the Gishath avatar to try and summon him. Pull him straight from the packs. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, last week, what did we do? We, we did pretty... We did medium in one draft, really badly in another draft, and really well in a draft. I can't remember. But um, we learned that just taking a lot of... I mean, taking a lot of removal is always good in draft. But specifically, it seems to be... Really good in... This set? Restless Ridge Iron is, is nice if I'm going green, red dinosaurs. Uchenbach is also good. There's also a join the dead here. Which is just removal. And it's like the only good piece of removal in the pack. But do I really take a join the dead over everything else here? I mean, I guess it kills everything else here. I th it's I want to take the Uchen back, but maybe the Join the Dead is better. No, I think it's the Uchen back. Wow, belligerent yearning! Another Join the Dead. I mean, Join the Dead's the best card here, right? This is good if we had another dinosaur, but we didn't have one. Really. Pathfinding Axe Jaws is also a nice card. The Malibu Veteran's good, but this is just removal, right? It's in the same colors as Uchenbach. It's just a good card. I think it's just the removal piece. Clarified Bricks actually did a lot better than I ranked it in the... or has felt a, seemed like a lot better than I ranked it when I did my limited draft review. Ooh, Guardian of the Great Door is very good, though. I don't really... I mean, Blood Rage isn't terrible. It's not great, though. But it would keep us in colors. I think we've passed too much good white around for to be able to take this. That's very mid, I guess. A good card. Cavern Stomper's always nice. Tally Favor does a lot of work, but we're not in red, really. I think it's just the Blood Rage. Like, it's not bad. We're just, we're just, I think we're just committing. This is good. This is good. This is good. Yeah, I don't mind. What do I want out of these three, though? Probably the Mephitic Doubt or the Echo of Dust. Dusk. These are really good cards. I think I'll take the Echo this time, just get the key creature. Tithing play turned out to be much better than I thought it would be. In a deck like this. Probably buried treasure. Uh, I think we'll take the necropolis just to have one. 
Death Cat Marionette is great. This little card. Okay. We have some removal. We've got some decent creatures. This deck isn't looking too bad. I think I've, I've been doing much better with like the blue black, you know, these kind of decks, rather than when I've been trying to build just you know big stompy boys and smash. But uh, I do I do so enjoy the big stompy boys and smash. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. I've uh, streamed every day this week, so it's taken a little bit out of me. And we'll be streaming tomorrow as well, because uh, the Path of Exiles new season comes out later this afternoon. I think I worked it out to be about midday, one o'clock where I am. So it'll be, it should be up by the time the stream's over. Uh, so that's probably what I'm spending my afternoon doing. I think I need to do a little bit of tidying around the house and then I'm going to be uh, playing PoE. And that is essentially my plan for the rest of today. Uh, and then probably tomorrow as well. Fungal Force Jude better than Primordial Nora? Probably, right? I haven't tried Primordial Nora yet, but it's a card that I don't particularly care for. I mean, I'll take it. It's a creature. Uh, I don't care for any of these, so we will take the Uncommon. Don't care for any of these, so we'll take the Uncommon. Who's, who's pack, oh, pack stalling up there? I mean, it's not looking too bad. Pathetic drought comes back around. We like that. We need some way to use it. Like a sack thing for it. don't currently have. They've, there's that two mana black spell though that lets you sack an artifact or a creature to draw a couple of cards and make a couple of, or make a map token. That would be, that would be good if we could get a couple of those out. But the deck's looking okay. Oh, you fucking, damn it. I should have taken the fucking land and just stuck red green. Fanatical offering, that's what I was talking about. Is it the best card here? I think by a substantial amount. I would love to play the Hatcher, but uh, we're not quite in the right colors for it. Uh, Screaming Phantom's a good card in this deck. Cogwork isn't amazing. Is Council of Echoes good? I mean, we don't currently have a big late game apart from Uchenbach. Is that how you spell it? Uchbenbach. Uchbenbach. Screaming Phantasm's better early. But we have quite a lot of early stuff at the moment. I guess I'll take a Council of Echoes. Uh, Deep Cavern Pack's great. We like Deep Cavern Pack. Uh, Inverted Iceberg is also very good. But I think Deep Cavern's Pack is better. Uh, I, like, I like the Echo of Dusk. Hopefully that'll come back around. But that's just a look at my opponent's hand, exile something, and also it's a flying life linker. I think this card's just great. There's another drought. Uh, we do want the rampaging spike tail, though. We want at least one of these. Because they're good to have in the late game. And they're good to swamp cycle early because it puts another thing in your graveyard for the uh, descent.
I think this deck's looking pretty okay. Um, we could probably do with a big end game, like a big bomb game winner. But like, we have just decent cards. We'll see. The Mephetic Drought into Fanatical Offering is always really good as well, because it's draw, draw three. There's a Marauding Brine Fang. That's nice. So we'll have a Spike Tail and a Brine Fang. That's what we were hoping for. One of each of the big dinos with the cycling, so we can pick and choose. Also, the Brine Fang's just the biggest of the bunch, I think. Uh, well, technically the green one is an 8-8's worth in stats, but it's a 5-5 and a 3-3. So, on a single body, this one, I think, is the biggest. Because <laughs> the black one's this. The red one is a 6-5. The green one... Uh, Didact Echo is good. Phonetical Offering is also good. I think it's probably another Phonetical Offering, right? Gotta be. A third... Th oh, no. It's a Ray of Ruin. Removal! Removal is premium. I mean, I guess we just take the Oaken Siren, right? It's not a bad card. I like that we're, we're black-blue, but we're only really... Splat well, I mean, they've got some double costs. I guess we're not splashing blue, but we are very heavily on the black in this. But people haven't been picking the black, I guess. Another Mephitic Drought would be nice to go with the two fanatical offerings, although we can sack things like Buried Treasure to it as well if we need to. What does this do? Look the top four cards once you hand the rest into your graveyard or counter something. Eh. Playable, I guess. This is probably okay. Again, it's not a sack outlet, which we can use for certain things to get our um, descend going. Although we don't have any of the big descend lovers, like the. Uh... Oh, there's another Echo Dusk, actually. That's pretty good. And there's another Mephitic Drought. Damn. Nice couple of cards coming around. Uh, take the uncommon for vault progress. Ooh, Didact Echo comes all the way around. It's very expensive, Didact Echo being the only thing. But we're, the deck's pretty much looking ready to go, and we've got one more pack to start taking things out and putting extra stuff in. What would I take out? Probably... Buried Treasure, I guess, could probably come out. Oh, God. Skull Spore Nexus. Damn. Well, there's another Tithing Blade. Which I think we're just taking, right? Removal. The Greedy Freeboot is good, but it's not as good as a Tithing Blade. Unlucky Drop is too expensive. We've already got a Brine Fang. The Field Cave Worm is nice, but again, it's not a Tithing Blade. So I think they're doing that. I think Confounding Riddle we can take out. Very Treasure we can take out. The Acolyte we can take out if we want. Another Echo of Dusk or the Inverted Iceberg. I think we're doing Inverted Iceberg this time. Uh... I guess we'll take Visage. And I guess we'll take the Frilled Cave Worm. We could probably... Well... Let's take you out. Let's take you out. Let's take you out. Let's take you out. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that 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 will come. That will come in. Uh, let's take the siren out for the time being. We could probably take out some of this top end, right? Well, no, because, I mean, this is swamp cycling. This is island cycling. So the only things that are stuck in our hand that are expensive is going to be the gore stalker or the council. So I think this is probably fine. If we don't get anything, we can put back in the siren. Is another didact echo good? Possibly, but the only problem with didact blades is it doesn't really block. I mean, I guess it's still a 3-2 with flying. If I've descended enough, which... If I've got some early game going, I imagine I will have. There's another Ray of Ruin, though. We want that. So maybe we do take out another Didact Echo. Maybe we take out... Maybe we take out both the Didact Echoes, actually. Uh... This card didn't impress me the first time I played it. Thrilled Cave Worm does, is good though. But I think the Greedy Freak Boot is the one I want. Um, for Vault Progress. That card's actually good. Oh, fine. We'll put it in the sideboard for now. This card's actually very good as well. But I don't know how much I care for it. I mean, it's an okay turn one play. We'll have to have a look and see what we're taking out. Alright, so first of all, we drop a land, and we probably drop an island, because we've got a lot more black. Uh, this two-drop slot, this needs some inspection. That stays, those are great, that's great, that's great, that's great, that's great. So maybe it's like the snail, maybe the snail isn't good enough. Maybe we take out the visage as well. The visage is good though. Make our opponent discard something. And what would we put in? Waterlogged Hulk, maybe? A Didact Echo? I don't know. I like having lots of twos. I think, I think this is okay. I think this is fine. Yeah, this will be fine. It'll do. We got removal. We got some decent creatures. We got Uchman back, whatever his name is. Ah. Right. This is this is pretty good actually. Okay. Playing something. Cool. Nope. Okay. Honestly, I think we just visage of dread. What have you got in there? We'll get rid of that. Sure. Sure. So let's inverted iceberg first.
I mean, we're not blocking with this, right? So I guess we just leave it because this we're going to island cycle. Or this. Well, I suppose we swamp cycle this, right? I would have played this first. Bye bye. That is pretty good. Yeah. There you go. I don't know why you didn't do that last time. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, there's the axe, Jaw. Uh, right. So I guess we cave back first. We got to land. Cool. And we can Echo of Dusk. There's the axe jaw, yeah. Okay, so it's still only a 4 3. Yep, swing with it. Does it grow? It does. Hmm. Fine, I guess we double block. Getting a little bit low here. And then he equips this to this. Yep. Guess I just play this. This is instant, right? Yeah, it is. Bye-bye. What creature? Oh, yeah, I could do that. Well... This is probably better, right? So if he just gets one creature, we can Tithing Blade it. Okay. Cool. Um... Get rid of Deep Caverns back. I know that puts us further away for Ukban back, but this giving us a little bit of extra life could really save the day. I don't think I need to do anything. Hey, a Malamute brawler that does nothing. I suppose he's going to equip a bunch of stuff to it. 
So it does at least get bigger. Probably turn this into something, right? All right, well, that one well. <clears throat> we took a lot of damage early, but eventually we got, he didn't have enough creatures to keep up with me. So, I will take it. That was pretty good. First game of the day is a win. That's what we like to see. Let's have a look at game two. Okay. Playable. This into this. Mephitic Drought. Then draw with Fanatical Offering if we need to. Hello. you got holy well that's gross so we're gonna have to immediately join the dead this guy But then how do we stop this? Okay, Cog's fine. Apart from she's going to get bigger. And there's a flyer as well. Well, this is just getting better and better. Yep. Ow, ow. Man, this this person just vomited cards and did work, and uh, they worked. Yeah, ah, it's pretty good. Damn it! I really needed that to draw. I really needed that to get buffed.
Yep. Okay, thank God. What does this do? Okay. Yep. Yep. I mean, I, I had to do it anyway. There was nothing I could do. Uh, I guess I get the spike tail down. I guess I tanks. It's got life link. I need the health. Do you have something to remove this? Let me hit you. No. Okay. I have to do this to try and draw an answer to a 7-7. Seven, seven, because if I try and do this, he's just going to block. Yeah. Well, that's it. We hit his start, what was it, Cosmium Raider directly into the fucking legendary pirate? Man, there's just nothing we could do about it. He got too much. Like, we needed another piece of removal to answer the Cosmium Raider, the, the Captain Straw, Storm or whatever. We needed two pieces of removal to answer both of them. If we'd have had a Tithing Blade early, we could have answered her and then still killed the Captain, but we didn't. If we'd have had any, either of our Ray of Ruins, we could have answered her all the way up until our final turn when we tried to draw three, two cards to try and find it. Any of our removal pieces would have done it, but we just didn't get there. And they had just, you know, pirate into pirate into pirate into all of the artifacts into giant dude into smash you in pieces. And we couldn't, we couldn't keep up. I know, I know the uh, the Cosmium Raider gets out of hand, but the other pirate also just generates infinite like token, like treasures and value and all that stuff. It's it's very hard. Maybe I should have blown that one up because then at least he can't grow, I guess. But I mean, he's still a three three with first strike, which is a real problem early. Um. I think the only way we were going to come back from the one of the best two drops into probably the best three drop. Well, no, I guess the two four with Death Touch Vampire, the black card, is actually probably the best three drop in the set. But that doesn't change the fact that that, that goblet, that pirate is really fucking good, especially if you're playing pirates. So it was like the best two drop for the pirate back deck into the best three drop for the pirate deck one after another 
And I just couldn't stop him. What's going on? Why is it not finding an opponent? Hello? Come on. There you go. That's how long it should take. That was weird. Let's have a look at what you got in there then. Uh, you're not particularly interesting. You're not particularly interesting. You could be. Two more artifacts. He's not going to. Let's get rid of that. Very scary artifact. Uh, yeah. What's on top? We don't need another land on top. Thank you. Oh, okay. Well, I guess all there is on top is more lands. He didn't have a way to kill it, to kill this. So, this can still block the belligerent Yearing unless this one card here is removal. Which he drew in the last two turns. Yeah, it's fine. Because I have a 3 3 life linker now. Sure. Uh. I mean, I guess we just play the cave worm, because even if he dire mauls this, it's still a 4 5, right? I guess he can craft it now. He's going to play the echo instead. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Do I have two creatures? Yes. Uh, we'll have the Deep Caverns Bat. Actually, no. Death Cat Marionette and the Greedy Freebooter. Yes. I would like to mill two cards. Thank you. What have you got in there? Creature? It needs to be a creature. Or removal or something. Stop yourself just getting absolutely fucking battered. Nope. Nothing. Matter. I mean, he has been pretty unlucky, right? He's played five, six, seven. Oh. That does kill something. Oh, that's sad. And is strong enough to block my frilled cave worm. Hmm. Well. I 
That must have been one of the best draws, right? It's a creature that is also removal as well. Wait, he's in my hand. Oh, I thought he was in the graveyard. I'm stupid. Okay, sure. Another creature? Nope. Oh, sweet. Brian Fang! Bam! So he's dead next turn. Unless he comes up with something. Hey! That was a good top deck. I I, I assumed Uchman uh, Buck was in the. Um, was got exiled at some point. I have no memory of drawing him. Maybe it was a draw off an effect? Wow, also, I didn't realise we'd already gone two losses and we only got two wins. This is sad. To be fair, the the deck... The, I remember the... What was our second loss? Wait, what? What was the second loss? I know we lost to the guy doing all of the, uh, all of the crazy shenanigans, uh, the, what do you call it? Oh, really? A removal on the land? Lovely. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that card's scary. Yep. That card is also scary. Okay. So, let's offering. Blowing up this. Play another drought. There's the blue land. Look at that. They exist. Uh, I'm probably just blocking this. Yep. Blue land. Let's just let's just exile this before it becomes an issue. Wow. Okay. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Ow, ow. Uh am I Dead? Okay, maybe not quite. Unless he's got another Malamut War Scribe? Might do. I'm very behind, unless I can find a way to deal with this. I got what six? I suppose six turns isn't too terrible. Yeah, he hasn't had to use anything yet. He's just ow, ow. Yeah, he's literally just holding cards in hand because he doesn't have to do anything. He has any way to buff this. I'm just dead. Alright, I'm on one life. And he 
He's got a second flyer. <laughs> okay, I can fanatical offering this. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'll die to myself. Fuck you. Right. What was our second loss? Because I feel like... What did we play? We went up... The first game we won. The second game was the pirate game we lost. The third one we got stuck in... Did we get bugged? I'm going to have to watch the video. I don't remember losing three times with this deck. Did we get stuck in queue? You remember when we were stuck in queue for almost two minutes and then I cancelled the queue? I feel like it gave us a loss. Or did we lose three times? Because we beat the big dino guy, didn't we? We lost to the pirates. We lost to that last guy. What else did we lose to? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we lost three times. Maybe I'm just forgetful and an idiot. Fuck it. We're doing it. We're doing plus one, plus one counters or boosting attack. That's a good card. This is also a really good card. That's also a really good card. Uh, I think I'll take the clay fired bricks first, because if I transfer, if I craft clay fired bricks and I have the sovereign out, it's just nuts. Because everything has plus one plus one, so it's permanently going to trigger. Uh, actually, no. Malamut Battle. Well, no. We'll get. We'll take the Clay Fire Bricks. I was wrong about Clay Fire Bricks. I'll give it a chance. This card's insane. The Malamut Veteran's also very good, but this card's nuts. This card's insane. Wow. Okay. Oh. So is Glow Cap Lantern, though. Because Glow Cap Lantern allows me to repeatedly explore. But this is a 4 4 flyer. For, for two and some dudes. I think it's this. Okay. Envoy's really nice. If it doesn't just get removed immediately. <sighs> wow, another Dawn Runner. I want other Hotleys though. Let's do another Dawn Runner. I should have taken the Whatleys. I imagine I'm going to be missing a bunch of removal now because I passed a Whatleys and I passed the uh, Battle Glyph. But we just did a, a deck that was trying to take all the removal and it did mediocre at best. I still don't think I lost three games. I still feel like I got glitched by um, leaving that thing. I, do, I honestly don't remember losing three games, but maybe I did. If I did, I apologize, wizards. If I didn't, you fucked me out of some gems. How very dare you. Um, it's fine. I earn these gems by playing magic anyway. I don't actually pay for them, so it doesn't actually make a difference. It's just some of my time that's gone. And uh, honestly, uh, that's not a big deal. This card's really good. I mean, anything that explores is going to have... 
a higher power than its base power as long as it actually gets the explorer off. So this guy comes in. Like, if I get Clay Scout into Kinji's into this guy, if they don't deal with this guy, these guys get buff fast. Because this will be a 2 2, which means it goes, uh, it gets an extra plus base power. So it goes to a 3 3, and then it would go to a. 5-5, five, five, and then it would go to 9. Yeah, it goes... It go, builds fast. I'll take a hidden nursery, just because I like having at least one. There's the Hotleys I thought we were going to be missing. The Malamute Scythe might actually be useful as well. Because then we can just put it on something and give them increased power because I can make this guy strong enough that when he swings he doesn't just die there's the battle glyph add another hotlies Jesus okay so, so people aren't in green nobody's playing green uh, this has plus one plus one counters that's why I picked this wow nobody is in green holy Jesus I like the spider Care for the ancients. Oh my god. Yep. It's just bedrock turtles. This card is so good. It's probably the cloud guard. Vanguard of the Rose is good, though. And it's cheap. Uh, no, it's Vanguard of the Rose. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, all very good. Eh. I think it might actually be the scythe. Give things the increased attack when I need them. This card's good. Because it's just plus one, plus one counter. Which will get bigger and bigger with the Sovereign. Uh, same again. We like these. Like, a number of these just buffing things is all going to be good. Because then we can just whack this guy down. Twists and turns is nuts. We don't really have dinosaurs. We're not really doing dinosaurs as a thing. So, yeah. Twists and turns. Again, this is a deck that I'm much more excited to play than the last deck. Because it's just like dudes and beat ass. But I feel like this is a deck that's just... Uh, every time I play like de a deck like this, I get excited. Because I'm like, yeah, it's just dudes and beat ass. And then I get absolutely smashed. I should probably take this because it's removal. Wow, War Scribe. I don't think we're doing War... Well... No, oh yeah. War Scribe's good, because War Scribe with this guy on the field just means everyone goes fucking huge. Right. I... Maybe we take a Glorifier. I don't think. 
I mean, we'll take the splunking, but I don't think we're running it. Come on. Another scout. Scout's good. It's possibly a turn one, two, two, or turn one, one, one that draws you a land. Both of those are car uh, very good cards. Do I have a dinosaur? I don't think it matters, right? I don't think it even matters. I think I'm just taking it anyway. There's another Hotley's final strike. Maybe the scythe sucks. Another Dawn Runner. Oh my god. This is nuts. Like, I need to drop something from this list. Maybe it's one of these. Maybe I only want one of these. Petrify is really good, though. Maybe I'll take the spider out. Another Hotleys. Jesus. I don't know what... I don't know what I'm supposed to be dropping. Gem Guard actually does good work. Seed Stones are really good as well. Finally, not something good. Another veteran. Oh, uncommon for the bolt progress. I really don't know what I'm dropping. For the vault progress. Another Hotleys. Jesus. How many creatures do I have? I do have 16 creatures. Okay. So I do at least have enough creatures. But what am I dropping? So first of all, we drop a land. Then we need to drop three more cards. I think we take the seed stone out. Do we take the clay fired bricks? I like clay fired bricks. Maybe it's adaptive gem guard. I mean, it's hotly good. Yeah, yeah, she is. She's like game winning by herself. Maybe we do take out a final strike. It can't be take out a final strike, right? If anything, you drop Battle Glyph first. But Battleglyph is also really good. 
Let's let's drop the envoy. Okay. Let's see how this deck goes. Cause I really don't know. Let's not get stuck in a queue for ages and then lose a game. This is good as long as we draw a land. Dawn Runner explores. We've got Final Strike. Draw me a land, please. Yep. Bro. Come on. Just draw me a land. Yeah. Fine. Dude. This is fucking depressing. So he's probably got another Cogwork Wrestler in hand, because he held up with one mana. So he wants to bait me into a block and then Cogwork me, which is fine. Are you going to counter this? Of course. <sighs> yeah. Man. I mean... Let's just do this. Yep. And what do you get? Uh, at least the Goblin Raid is kind of crap. Oh, look! Another Cog Wrestler! So surprised! Oh. Right. Get away. So now I have a 2-2 with first strike. Or double strike, even. Has he got removal? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is a fucking joke. Okay. Alright. Maybe I shouldn't have kept the, uh, whatever I kept on top. The glow cap lantern. Alright. That first game was a wash. Let's just forget that that game happened because it's going to tilt me if I don't. <sighs> that was a bit frustrating. I have to admit. But, I mean, there's not a lot we can do about it. 
we just didn't draw the lands. This is looking good. This is looking very good. Okay, now it's not looking so good. Yep, keep that on top. Cool. I'll have another one. Yep, keep that on top. Botley kills you, dude. Next turn, Botley flips. this, why not? Do I have an artifact for it to... Oh, I suppose I've got the glow cap, yeah. Oh yeah, it's going to get gross next turn. Do you have some way to get rid of the Sovereign? Okay. 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 What are you doing two damage to? Oh, that was the wrong target. That was the wrong target, my friend. Because now... Yup. See, that's how this deck is supposed to do. 
it has a really gross early game. I literally got so fucked the previous game where I just didn't draw any lands. Oh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'll oh, forget about that first game because that second game was fantastic. This time, if we get stuck in a queue for like over a minute and a half or something, I, I'm just going to sit in it. I don't want to run the risk of getting a loss. And if it happens again, and this time it's like visible on screen, I'm just going to stop drafting for the day because I don't like taking free losses when I'm spending my gems. Nope. Yes. Uh, sure. He's got a black lotus over there. Look at him. So he needs like dead weight. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, I need a way to deal with this now. <laughs> oh my god, he just conceded instantly. Well, again, that's how this deck is supposed to play. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I can glow cap into Iron Paw, Iron Paw if we don't draw land, or Iron Paw Kinji's Dawn Runner if we do, and then I can Iron Paw fight if need be. This is this is pretty good. This is aggressive. I like this. Like turn one glow cap, turn two two three, turn three. Like we could equip glow cap and fight, or we could um, play another aspirant to pump to have another two three. This is good. Nice. <laughs> Mine cart, you going to crew it? No, okay. Do I just blow this up? Probably not, right? I think we probably just Dawn Runner. Yep, we'll keep that. Okay. We got Explorer's Cash. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Yep, 
that was bad. Right, so it has to do itself. Because then I can battle glyph this to this. Wait, what? 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 What the hell was that? Why can't I play this? Oh, because the additional cost still comes into effect, I guess. Okay. Sure. Okay. So let's... Final strike this to this. Yep. Yep. Sure. Okay, so he's getting a 3-5. Wait, does he die? 6. So, 2, 4, 6. There's a chance he just dies here. to this. Cool. GG. Uh, that wasn't the only way he dies, by the way. We equip the glow cap lantern and swing, and if it's not a land on top, we uh, kill him. And if it's a land, we can see it because we get to reveal the top from glow cap lantern, and it is a land, we just don't swing. So yeah, that guy, that was actually a pretty close game, but that guy was very dead. And we still miss land drops again. This deck just, if it gets three lands, it works. If it doesn't, it's just, oof. But, oh, twists and turns. I think we iron pour aspirant before we twist and turns, right? Because then, because we want to explore. Sure. Iron Port Aspirin on itself. Because with this, yep, yep, is that it? Is 
Is that all you got? I mean, he's losing this race hard. He's ta I'm taking two, and he's taking four at least. This little frost kitty. I like, I like my, my dinosaur. Okay, this guy clearly is uh, busy. Maybe playing from work. Maybe chatting with friends. Maybe he's uh, got something on his second monitor that's just riveting. I would assume he'd be at least hovering his own cards if he was trying to work out what he wanted to do and he's not even hovering his own cards, he's just sat there. So I have to assume he's got other things that he's paying attention to. Because he's certainly not paying attention to the game. Or maybe he's just really, maybe he's just like annoyed that he didn't draw a land and he's just got up and walked away. And I mean, I got annoyed when I didn't draw a land, but I didn't just walk away. Uh, he didn't play anything, he didn't do anything so I'm just going to do this because he could just be bluffing and if I try and hotly strike to blow up his creatures he could have things I probably should have attacked first this is a mistake again I should have attacked first however this does burn his uh, timer a bit more Have I clicked all the things on this board? There's not, this board isn't as interactive. Ooh. Is there an order to these? Uh, that's not good. That's not... Uh, oh. Yeah. We need lands. I wonder if there's an interaction with these. Or maybe it's just pretty. I'm not sure. Do, do, do. This guy's just got up and walked away. There we go. Well, we got there in the end. He couldn't just nicely concede like we do usually. He just had to burn the turn timer. But that's fine. I'm glad this deck's actually pulling some wins. Even if, you know, that last one wasn't really much of a win. It was more my opponent just not, getting, not hitting a land on turn three, I guess. And then just throwing the computer out the window. Maybe he's having a real bad day. Ooh, a bit warm. I'm not sure. But we shall see. There you go. Opponent got there in the end. Yeah. Turn one Senate Scouts, really nice. Yes.
Turn two, clay fire bricks. Bam! I think I'll just pacify this. Oh, he could be a Gishaf deck. Right, let's do this. Let's assume we're going to hit something. Yep. And then we'll Mephit this to this. Bam! Now we have a 3-3 three, three with double strike, baby. You're going to need... Oh, you just got... Ah, you have your own Petrify. Something else? Okay, I'll have a Senate Scout. Cool. Play the Hidden Nursery. Swing. One, two, three, four. What's he trying to do? Get to five? Yeah. Does he have, like, the hatchery creature? Well. Okay. Uh, probably River Herald Guide, right? We have a flyer. Flyer's dangerous. As long as he doesn't just, like, gish at me right here. Could do. He's got it in hand. He has the lands. I mean, I don't think you keep gish at in an opening hand, which is why I think he's probably not got it, but he has the mana for it, so he could do. Ah, he's got his fight effect. Okay. Could have really done with something better, twists and turns, but okay. That doesn't do anything. What do you have? There's the hatcher. It's fine. Yep. Ow.
Okay. Let's play the Dawn Runner. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Okay. He's on five. There are ways we can go over the top. But there are certainly ways he can go over the top as well. I think maybe his creatures got too big. Oh. Bye bye. Okay. That's a good draw. Okay, got two creatures. Not dead yet. There's another dark frog, yeah. Oh yeah. green. I'll play the green and I will immediately activate hotly. Oh yeah! We still in this baby! Are you returning something? I exiled the 7-7, seven, seven, so we can't have that back. We can get the Hatcher back, which would be a problem. Shit. Yeah, he's going to get the Hatcher back, right? Because he's already got two eggs. Hatcher's the best card by far, yeah. Does this give him lethal? No. I thought this... Oh, it's other dinosaurs you control have haste, not itself. Well, that does put us in a bit of a problem. Yep. <laughs> I mean, he is a big boy, but I don't know if that saves me. One, two, three, four. I can block three. I can block one, two, three. Yeah, I'm still dead. Dang, we held on pretty good, though. Like... I think there would have been a, I think there was a better way to do what I did, but <coughs> yeah, we held on. And this deck has been doing work in the early game. This is the very opposite of the deck I played last time. <laughs> 
Hey, another gear shaft enjoyer. I shouldn't. I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Come on, we just need one extra land. There's, there's, what, 16 of them in here? Come on. We need to explore. We need lands. Nope. Let's not land. We need a land. Come on. We've technically had th three draw. No. Don't just kill it. Oh, come on. Let me swing. Let me swing and play the land. Please. Oh, is he just going to kill it? No. Okay, fine. I did at least get a land. Dawn Runner. Wow. Uh, yeah, he can stay. I can't play him, but he has to stay, right? I mean, if I get one... Maybe not. Maybe I should have just... Yeah. Guess what? I got two, motherfucker. Nope, that goes to the graveyard. I need a land. I need a land so fucking badly. God damn it. Yep. Iron poor aspirin. Let's go. I just need a fucking land, and then I'm gonna play the tortoise. Ah, shit, you got your second colour. This has been such a dis... <laughs> like... Oh, my God, really? Yeah, right, fair enough. Oh. Thank fucking Christ. Yep. Cavalry, sure, this is gonna hurt. Ow. Okay, so let's equip this to here. And then let's also what leaves this. No. Attack with everything. And then this blows that up. I'm not dead. And you very much are if you don't block. Am I dead now? 8, 9, 10, 11. Not yet. He needs haste or a burn spell. 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, he needs haste or a burn spell. That's not haste or a burn spell. That doesn't have haste either. Oh no. 
but he gets to discard a card. Wait, he fucked it up. Because if this attacks, I die. And now he has to block with every single creature because he dies to any one. Yes! Uh, again, if he has haste, maybe he can kill me. Like, he could have he could have attacked with the geological and the... Um, this thing, right? And then giving it plus one, plus one by discarding whatever it was. So he missed lethal. He actually had it. Right? Or am I wrong? I need someone in chat or the YouTube comments to tell me if I'm wrong. But I think when it's whenever you attack. It's not whenever this attacks. So if this attacks... So if he attacks... Oh, he gets Tithing Blade. <laughs> Exponential growth! <laughs> that was so good. I can't believe how fucking bad our lands have been and we still won that game. Fucking hell. The Raven there. Jesus, that was a rough... I mean, we got there. We had to be real fucking... Real risky. But we did get there. Actually, this is probably really bad. Now it's better. Apart from the fact that we don't get a turn two play, which is sad. Does he have a turn two? Does he have... Okay, no. I'm still fucking scarred from that turn two fucking pirate that gets plus one, plus one. Uh, yeah, we'll have that. Yep. Plan anything? Nope. Okay. Uh, Senate Scout? Yep. Partly. Counter Magic? No! Oh, well, you're in trouble. No. Because he probably has those cog things, right? Oh, okay. I mean, I'm going to shoot that out of the air. He's going to get at least one thing off it, though. Okay, so first of all, no. Then, we will heal. Go get another plants.
another siren. Okay. Is that it? Is that all we got? There's the guy that interrupts an effect. Oh, that's... Okay, so let's transform Hotly. Two, three, three. Swing with this. You have to block. Unless you want to lose a contested game ball. Oh. <laughs> hey, Phoenix. How you doing? Thanks for the follow, buddy. Yep. Swing for one. That's fine. We got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here to ask stupid questions. Cool. Anything in particular? Okay, twists and turns, transforms. I guess we'll start by shooting that out of the air. Because we don't really want that card. Okay. I guess we'll just summon our own 4-4 flyer then. If a creature has enraged, does enrage work if the damage kills? Uh, uh, as in the creature itself. Enrage is the one where it, when it takes damage. But it's, I think it specifically states non-lethal damage, doesn't it? I think it has to not kill itself. I think specifically Enrage requires it to not die. Uh, I don't have any dinosaurs. But I do have a turtle. And a Malamut veteran. Uh, but we are not attacking. Yeah, I think in I, I haven't played with Enrage in a long time, but I pretty sure Enrage requires the damage not to kill it. I think it specifically states non-lethal. Yeah, Sunshot Militia, that's fine. Man, this game's going the distance. I mean, I can do the clay fire. Wait, do I have an artifact? No, that's why I can't do the clay fired bricks. So I guess I do this. And put it on the flyer. I think I also want to look at the top. And I'll take a Vanguard of the Rose. And I will play Vanguard of the Rose. But I don't... I still don't think I'm attacking. Yep, two damage. That's fine. Uh, I haven't used my Exile yet, have I? No, all I've used is two Whatley strikes. There's still two more strikes. Tapping the flyer. Okay, yep. Yep. That game ball actually gave him a lot of value because he managed to block it the entire time, which is pretty good. I need 
Something good. Off the top, preferably. Ow, ow, yep. Okay. Alright, what we got? I think I think we might be losing this base entirely on the fact that he's got too much control and flyers. But who knows? Maybe we can claw ourselves back. Is, is this person... There you go. I was going to say, I, I'm assuming they're crafting the lodestone needle, but it took them fucking 20 minutes to work it out. Okay. Uh, you can't do anything. You're still going to tap it, I know. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Finally able to find a ruling on it. It looks like it does still happen. One second. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. If lethal damage is dealt to a creature with an enrage ability, that ability tr triggers. The creature with the, ability, with the enrage ability leaves the battlefield before the ability resolves, so it won't be affected by the resolving ability. Am I dead? This blocks here. This blocks here. It puts a land on the field. So I go to one? Cool. Oh, and then he taps the skill, the Sunshot Militia. Ah! Okay. Okay. The, the one I know uh, was uh, the Polyraptor, the one that multiplied itself. But I know if you kill Polyraptor, the multiply effect stops. So I'm assuming that's because Polyraptor makes a copy of itself. And when it dies, it sees that it's no longer... Or it doesn't see itself because it's dead. Which is what, what causes it to not work. Right. Sorry. I got distracted by, by the stupid shiny things. These hate this. Whatever. Blue or red spells? Let's see if we can draft blue or red for this time round, shall we? We made our gold, our gems back as well, so that was nice. But... So, if it, yeah, triggering, putting a land onto the battlefield, I guess would still work? Yeah. Yeah. So enrage, yeah, the enrage ability stops functioning if the creature itself dies because the creature no longer exists, if it targets the creature specifically. Uh, this card's gross, right? 
can just do like swarm strategies with this thing. Battle cry when it's battlefield dies. Yeah, this this thing's gross. There's also a bunch like Guardian of the Great Doors, a swarm strategy card. Tinker's Totes really good with it. Tithing Blades just removal. Greedy Freeboot is fine. I mean, I'm taking the Evangelist, but all of those cards were really good. So this, yeah, this one's a wide board. This is like, go wide with white. So, there's a bunch of white, there's a bunch of white cards that let you go wide. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Get, getting into magic is difficult. Like, I've been playing magic for years. I was playing it... Ooh. Spring Loaded Saw Blades is very good. Iron Poor Aspirant's good. Quicksand. Uh, I think I'm going Spring Loaded Saw Blades just because it's really good removal. Uh, about three weeks in. Wow. That is, that is very new to magic. Um, I mean, to be honest, if you're still just enjoying playing random ass decks on, on MTG Arena or with your friends in person or whatever... Don't worry about what I'm doing. I'm just... This This is after, you know, 12 years of magic. This is my fun bit. But you haven't used Arena. I, I think Arena's good if you just want a way to just try out magic cards. Gone to Commander Locals. Ah. See, that's a good way to do it, to be fair. Commander is, you know, more relaxed. And as long as you've got a group of people that are also relaxed, it's a lot of fun. Uh, my problem with Commander is I had it ruined for me. Um, this card is very opposite to the Sanguine Evangelist, but it's just so good that I kind of just want to play it. This is also very good with the Sanguine Evangelist. Maybe, maybe we're like green-white. Green-white dudes... Because this doesn't necessarily need to be in black, and neither does this. Maybe we could do, like, green-white dudes, because this gives other creatures plus one, plus one. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do Let's do the green-white thing again. We just did green-white, and we had a really gross, like, token, like, plus one, plus one counter deck. Now we're going to try go wide. Why not? Trying to make a dinosaur deck. For Commander, I'm assuming. Um, I mean, Gishath was literally reprinted in the new set. Gith Gishath is a big, scary boy. Do I want the War Scribe? Probably. Yeah. That's who I'm using. Gish I I'm using the Gishath avatar, and one day, one day this set, I'm going to draft, and I'm going to pick Gishath, and I'm going to make a big red, green, white dino draft deck, and I'm going to be like, screw everybody, I'm just going to play giant dinosaurs. Uh, I like Gishath. I like getting big and stompy and hitting people. But yeah, there's, there's some decent dinosaurs. Um, the new one that gives everything haste is also very good. Waiting for it in the mail. How, I wonder how much is the new Gishath going for? Because we got... My, my, me and my partner went to uh, the pre-release for the new set. And one second. Let me, let me do this pick and I'll go show you what we got. Can I hold it up to the camera? Can you see it? I have no idea. But it's the uh, the full art Gishath. I'm not sure. I can't really tell. He's a, he's a very pretty boy. I can't see him in the <laughs> in the video. He hasn't he hasn't reached stream time yet. 
But yeah, we, we managed to pull that, and I was very happy about that. Yeah. But yeah, we we uh we did fortunately get it. But sadly, I still I don't really play outside of arena. Again, I'm uh in case you didn't notice from the accent, I am uh from the UK. And all of my friends that play magic live in the UK. Uh and I moved to the US to marry my partner. So it's not like I can just go down and play magic with people or, you know, anything like that. So we go to the, uh, and the closest card store is almost three hours away. Uh, and that's the one we go to for our um, draft events. But, um,. Yeah, uh, because it's three, it's like three and three hours away. It's not like I can go every Friday or something like that. So, no, no, we don't. Literally, we use the uh, we use the search thing, and there was uh, there's like three stores in the closest major city, which is about three hours away. And then there was another one, I suppose it's about two and a half hours, I guess, was the store that was slightly closer um, in a town nearer us. But uh, yeah, we, we don't have a card store any closer. <laughs> yeah, well, we live, we live on the edge of nowhere. Uh, we live, uh, it, I, I'm in Texas and we live right on the edge. Um, so we're, we're miles away from everything. Which is very sad. Oh my god, Hungle Force Juice coming around. This card's really good. If we're doing like dudes, yeah, I'd splash for this. I'll 100% splash red for this guy. I mean, I can't complain. The place we do go to um, for our. For our drafting, everyone's real nice. Um, it's always a really good time. I guess we'll take a kin cooler. Maybe we can start putting some dragons in. This card's really good. This this card is very good. Uh, Soaring Sandwing is a nice card to have. But yeah, so all the guy, the, the owners are great. All the guys that come are really nice. Um, there's like four, three or four, like I call half deep or good players that um, usually it's me and them guys who are coming, you know, the top five every time we do a draft. But um, my partner is also very new to Magic. He only started playing it when I came over here, which was about a year ago. Um, Edge of... We could go to the same store, lol. We could do. Um, but, yeah. Um, like I said, my partner is very new, so he has no idea what he's doing. I, live, I, I don't know where that is. Uh, but I don't, I don't... To be fair, I'm not exactly... 100% on most of the things around where we are. Uh, we're, we're nearest, like, um, the, the stores we, the, we're nearest San Antonio. That's where the majority of our stores are. So I'm not sure where you are from that. Uh... I don't really want any of these cards. Oh, okay. Is 
it borders Texas. Oh, I, uh, we don't border a state. <laughs> uh, we're we're on the uh, the Mexican border. So yeah, we don't border a state. Yeah, we're we're right down like bottom left. Essentially. This card's not bad. So, um Yeah. We are very far away. But I mean, like I said, it's it's worth top right of Texas. Yeah, you're probably the opposite side. To be fair, like, I, Texas is a big place, um, and me and my partner have both talked about not wanting to be, I mean, I, again, I'm from the UK, I can't take the heat. Now, if we were in northern Texas, it would still be hot, but you would have, they, they would have, you know, spring, summer, autumn, winter. Currently, with where we are, we have summer for 11 and a half months, and then we have two weeks where um, everyone puts on coats and says it's cold, and I walk around in a shirt and shorts going, is it? And then it goes back to being like 40 degrees again, and now I'm just dying. So, we have talked about going up north, and my, my partner would prefer not to be right on the border with Mexico. So we've talked about going up north somewhere. So who knows if if you've got a really good um, recommendation for a a uh, store, uh, a card store with every, where everyone's nice and they do good events, maybe we'll take it into consideration. <laughs> I don't think we'd be leaving Texas though. But my 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 partner loves it here. He's uh, he's a big Texas person. Yes, that's that's true. We should. I might take the Dynamatron. Like it's a good. We've got a bunch of armored kin callers now. I again. I I've lost. I've lost sort of paying attention to what this draft is doing now. I think we're doing go wide dudes ish. I don't I I've, I've completely stopped paying attention to what's happening on the screen. <laughs> I've been chatting. Uh yeah, we should definitely move somewhere where we don't have to go three drive three hours. Again, commander was still ruined for me. Yes you do. You keep the cards you draft. Hulking Raptor. Yeah, go on then. I love me Hulking Raptor. It's so good. I should try out draft. It, this is the thing. You can... Um, so what I like to do on Magic Arena, and this is how... You see up here, I've got like... This is the premium currency. This is the currency that you have to spend money on. Or you should... You, that most people spend money on. And I haven't spent a penny. Because you can earn gold by doing quests and winning games. And when you get 10,000 gold, you can pay for a draft out of gold. And the reward from draft is gems. So if you do the quests, at just if you just play magic, because, you know, you enjoy playing magic. Uh, yeah, I'll play. I'll take a second one of this guy. You can earn up enough gold, or regularly. I, I Usually it's every sort of week, week and a half. I earn it up if I'm doing all of the quests and playing a bunch of games. I can earn up enough gold to do one draft, which then earns me back some gems. And even if you start off not doing very well, you won't, like, even though you're not getting many gems, you'll slowly, you'll slowly be accumulating them, and you'll learn which cards are better over time. Um... And you can earn how many wins in draft to get enough gems to do another run? It's four. Uh, four or five. I think it's five, actually. I think I'm wrong. 
Another war scribe? Yeah, go on then. Um, so the way it works is zero wins is 50 gems. One win is 100 gems. Two wins is 250. You're allowed three losses. Uh, so three wins is 1,000 gems. But getting back 1,000 gems on top of the three packs you get to open for doing the draft itself is essentially paying for itself. Because the draft costs 1,500 gems. So if you take into consideration the price of packs, three wins is about going even. Four wins is 1,400 gems, and you get some extra packs as well. Five wins is 1,600. You just have to be good enough to go five wins. Yes. We'll take a Vanguard of the Rose. This card's good. Probably another river. Uh, we don't really have much top end, actually. Do we care? I think we're more regret. Now nah, let's do this. Let's do this. I think I think I was right the first time. Ooh. Yeah, dual land. Take the dual land. But then I just draft until. Well, <laughs> this is the thing. Uh, early on, when you're bronze, silver, that sort of stuff, a lot of people will be new to drafting. A lot of people either don't do drafting regularly or only do... Hmm. I think I'll take a Captivating Cave. Am I going to have enough cards? I might need to stop taking lands. I'll take that just because I'm worried I'm not going to have enough. How many... Three. Yeah, okay. Helping hand is fine. All the lands. Well, I've currently got one, two, three, four, five, six lands, and I need twenty. So that's twenty-four. So this is actually right. This is. I. I prefer to take out this over the edge. Um. Which I might do for a Dynamatron. Ugh, that sounds gross. We've already got a Captivating Cave, so I don't really need another one. Yeah, I guess we take the Dynamatron and take this over the edge out. Sure. Rare for the Vault Progress. Oh, no. We can we can take a, a second Malamut Veteran instead of the Dynamatron. I mean, we do have two, two dual lands, which is good. Let's put him in, actually. That guy might be useful. Useful. Oh, there's another over the edge. Right. What What are we looking at? I, I got completely lost. Okay, so first of all, we're going to drop... A forest. And then we need to drop one extra card. Do, 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 do. do we want this Dismantler? I mean, it could be good if our opponent's playing artifacts. Or it could just be trash. And we have to sacrifice him, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm taking him out. I mean, I really enjoy draft, but I really enjoy draft because, um, and this this you won't under you won't realize yet if you've only been going and playing commander, but you'll probably realize it on arena reasonably quickly. Um, everybody just plays the same decks, like just everybody. <laughs> Which can be a little bit frustrating. Especially when you're someone like me, who the joy of magic is deck building or trying to, you know, create my own... Create what I think a cool deck will be. And then everyone is just like, oh, what did the winner of the latest world tour play? And then everyone is just playing that. It's just they're like, okay, like, sure, 
I should have I should have cycled this. I'm an idiot. Well, now I can threaten him for damage. Yeah, a lot of people in Commander are generally just playing things that they like, which is great. He has a Skull Spore Nexus. Oh, crap. i probably just lose if he plays that, right? Yeah. I think that card's so good. How much does it cost him? 10 minus 4, so 6, so he can't play it yet. Ooh. Wow, I'm actually going to have to do that. And I'm going to be mad about it. And then I'm going to have to plane cycle this as well. Honestly, I probably should have plane cycled first. No. This is terrifying. But yeah, um, a lot of people just seem to enjoy playing... Uh, or it com magic is competitive, so people want to play the decks that they think will make them win, which is fine. Like sure, but um, for someone like me that likes playing, you know, just fun stuff, it can be frustrating. When all you do is go, like, the, someone will play the first card, and you just go, oh, I know what deck you're playing. Honestly, I'm just going to War Scribe and fucking smash him. Fuck it. Probably should have played this. No, because I needed it for the War Scribe. This is fine. He just wants to Skull Spore Nexus because Skull Spore Nexus wins. He can't currently. He's still one mana short. Wait, what? What? X is the greatest power. What? Oh, it's cost eight, not ten. I'm an idiot. Fair enough. Nope. <coughs> uh, so, do we have any way to beat him? Because this just comes back as a 4-4 if I block it, right? Yep. Yep. Fuck it. We're going to lose this anyway. We might as well just go for it. I think... I don't think we kill him here. I think we do six. But math is for blockers, maybe? No, he can't do that. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, you can't do that. You can't block the flyer. You have to block on the ground. Goes to one. I draw a card. I don't think I'm dead. Okay, he heals. Yeah. Probably dead now. Wow, you're so scared you don't even play a card. Man, this whole land thing is really being a problem. Because <laughs> I want to fight, but I can't play a card and also fight in the same turn. And like, spring-loaded saw blades I can play, but I can't play anything else. Yeah. All right, cool. Man. Skull, what's it? Skull, skull spore nexus or whatever. Just too strong. That is sad. All right. Well, let's see how the next one goes. We also got really screwed on lands. I probably shouldn't have kept that starting hand with lands, but like... I didn't think we'd get that screwed on lands. That was, uh... That was hilariously bad. Okay, so he's got the 1-2 gnome. Sure. Play this. Swing. Because then that triggers the draw. I guess we'll just play Pit of Offering and get nothing. What's this? Whenever one or more creatures create a treasure, whenever you cast an artifact, create a 3 1. Right, okay. But only one a turn. That's fine. Yep. Really? Um, do I care about a 1-1 one, one bird? Probably not. Sure. Oh, wow, I'll take the 3-1. And I'll bring him back, thanks. <laughs> That's got to be tilting. Just come straight back out of the gra graveyard for one mana. Oof. Oof, owie, his soul. I need another planes. Yep. 
Sure. You want to swing with it? Didn't think so. We play this. Put it on this. Swing with this. And this. No. Just this. Make some gnomes. I guess we'll play a dinosaur. <laughs> In Commander? I don't know if there is too many. Like, that's the thing. Commander is uh, a very slow, very, you know, power greedy format, right? So, I don't, I don't know if there's too many. <laughs> I mean, when there's when there's more ways to get lands out of your deck than there are lands in your deck, maybe you've gone too far. But I think, don't usually commander decks run like 5 to 10? Okay. No. Oh, wow. have another one. Uh, what I really need is a fucking white source so I can play this. Again, these pit of offerings keep being the first fucking land I get and they're completely useless. Yep. Two damage? What are you doing two damage to? What am I? My one two? Oh shit. Not the one, two. Oh, my one, one. Can I please? There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, math is for blockers. Good game. Love you. <sighs> yes, yeah, fun. Now. No. Oh, that's milling his own lands, isn't it? Boop, boop. That worked. Maybe my land base is a little bit janky. But I mean, it did win a game. So I can't be too upset about it. Most of the deck is Greenlands. I'm going to assume I'm going to draw one and it's going to be great. 
Okay. We're going to assume we're going to draw one, and it's going to be great. Honestly, I think we still just thousand moons. If we thousand moons into Ka into Ka Kut's mill and he doesn't have something, uh, oh. can't. I mean, I can still attack with this because it can still only block. That was so wrong. What are you doing? You're giving me a draw. What? This man wants to lose. He has his own. Uh, I think that's fine because I have I have the battle glyph, so I'm just going to fight this to this for one. Okay. Yeah, he. So we just this to this. Yeah, sack it. Cool. He concedes! <laughs> oh, that was that was a hard game. Right, we're in platinum. Woo! This is where we just get absolutely murdered. I swear, every time we get to platinum, it's just like a hard wall. Alright. Let's go again. But yeah, I don't know if it's how many ways you should have to grab lands from your deck is the question. It's which ones do you want? Because there's so many good green ways to mana ramp. Um, so like, which one do you specifically want? Or which like, 5 to 10? Okay. All of them. Oh no. This guy's going to be so upset because I can do this. And then fight. <clears throat> now he needs to come up with some. Oh, okay. He's, he loses. Okay, cool. Right, I mean, this is on the field and growing. He needs to come up with a way to deal with this. It, he, that doesn't do anything. Doesn't even slow it. Oh, okay. I guess he can, yeah. Cool. If I draw a land, he just loses. If I draw a land, he just loses. He just concedes. Do you think 16 ramps cards group? 10 grab 6 artifacts. So, commander decks are 100 cards. I think it's about 40-ish lands, which gives you, let's say, about 60 cards to play. And you're saying 16 of them... Oh, uh, just ramp. Yeah, that's probably fine. Yeah, that's got that's that's probably good. Cause you can just fill the rest like the rest of the deck with big chonky boys that do stuff.
go under 40 lands. Uh, that I'd be more wary of. But, maybe. Do I keep this hand? Probably not, right? I can only play the Law Keeper and the Battle Grip. Oh, uh, no, because I can play and cycle this. Yeah, we'll keep it. It'll be fine. Law Keeper! So, can I plane cycle this next turn using this as the ability? Yes. So, let's plane cycle this. Get me a planes. Play the planes. Ow. Skullcap Snail. Uh, we'll get rid of helping hand. Yes. <sighs> I think. Yes. Yep. And we attack. Okay. So what's he got? Sure. So, this is dangerous, but not too bad. Okay, so it's going up to being a 2-2 this turn. Uh, so, 3-3. Three, three. So, I think what I do is this. Targeting itself. Then battle glyph, you to you. Get out. Then swing for two. And now when I play this next turn, he needs to... So he's is he going to walk? He can't. He can't just walk that back to his hand. I think he's thinking about it. If the Discover 4 doesn't hit anything good, he's absolutely railed. If he just goes and fetches this back. Yeah, he's screwed. That's really bad for him. Play this. Play this. Comes down. Swing with both. Am I getting draws? Are you losing both your creatures? Yep. Spring loaded saw blades. Okay, so you can play this. Yeah. Swing in with it. I'll take seven. A little bit sore. Alright. You can't swing now. I'll just play the Armoured King Caller. Don't have another dinosaur, but it's good to have stuff on the field. So... Sure. Okay. 
Anything else? Okay. I think we need to leave this up. I was tempted to sack this, put two on here, make it a 6-4. Sure. You still can't attack because I just spring-loaded the, the veteran. Sure. What you got? Okay. Let's just spring this then. Sure. I will take that, I will take that, and I'll take that. And then I guess I'll do this on here. Right. You want to trade? Cool. Okay, this could be a problem. Yep. Sure. Wow, he has Chimmel the Inner Sun. What the fuck are these decks? I told you, as soon as I get into Platinum, my opponents are just like, Oh, look, I have like 15 Mythic Rares. And I'm just like, wow, really? This guy's got double join the dead. And he had an early... I mean, we exiled it. The, uh... This. And he also has a Chimil the Inner Sun. Sure. God. <sighs> sure. Doesn't really do anything because he just plays Chimmel the Inner Sun and he just gets to discover at the end of every fucking turn. Yep. Sure. Yep. And now you just discover five every turn. Yep. Yeah. Just a free echo of dusk. <laughs> Another armored kin caller. This is such a good card. And there's just nothing I can do about it. Another spike tail? Sure. And then he's going to pump himself. Yeah. Which means now we can't even block it with the vanguard. Yeah. I'm on one. And then he gets to discover five at the end. Tithing Blade, which makes me sacrifice my creature. Wow. That was... Uh, that was not a little bit of a uh, ass whooping. That was getting absolutely demolished. I... I mean... What do you say when you go up against something like that? I played my best. And it didn't matter because he had better cards. 
But I guess that's always, that's always one thing in draft. Sometimes your opponent just has a better deck. And even, like, this is, the, the thing that's really, that really does get me is it's supposed to put you up against opponents that have got about the same win-loss as you. But there are times when I've gone 0 and 2 and I've gone up against a deck where somebody just has, like, 7 or 8 mythic rares or, like, rares. And I'm just like, oh, so the only reason you lost your last game is because you legitimately just didn't draw anything. That's that's the whole thing. It's it's very sad. Right. Wow, is, is that the best one drop? Man. My opponent's uh swinging for the fences in this one. Yeah. Ow. Yup. Okay. Yup. Well, at least the fly is still only a 1-1. One -one. I can actually take my time dealing with it. Alright, let's just get the River Herald guide out. You can't be played. I mean, I'm not blocking with it, so. Oh, he's got the... Of course he does. Yeah. You can never attack into one open blue mana in this set. Or block with one open blue mana for that mana. Ugh. Yep. Sure. Ow, ow, ow. I feel like he's probably just got another piece of removal, probably for two. I know he's got the sacrifice. Yep. Sure. Yep. Sure. He's just going to have a counter spell or some way of interacting with it. I have to do something about it. I can't just keep letting it hit me. Bounce. Yep. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah, and then just burn all the map tokens. Yep. Yeah. That's a 4-4 four, four flyer that he can probably play next turn. <sighs> yep. Play a land, play a 4-4 four, four flyer. Yep. Man, my opponents are just not even... I, I, They're probably just talking to their friends, barely even playing attention, just drawing out the cards that are on the left of their screen, and it, it looks so easy. Sure. Nope. 
So I'm dead next turn. Oh, he has a... He's an Ulkenbach as well. I mean, there's not a lot we could have done this time round. Alright. Well, we tried. Uh, I'll probably do the drafting portion of the of another draft, but I don't know if I'll play another draft. Uh, we do get a thousand gems. It's not terrible. Uh, so we've only lost. It depend depending on how. I mean, we got what we got. One thousand six hundred, and then one thousand, and then like two fifty. So we spent three thousand. No. We spent 4,500 and we've earned back half of it, ish. Yeah, essentially half. We did it, chat! We got Gishath! Yeah! That's it, right. So, the deck is built. There's, the deck is ready. We're cool. You were here! Right. So, uh, we're doing green, red, white dinosaurs. That's it. We're not looking at any other colours. We're just looking at the green, red, and white and seeing what says dinosaur on it. If it doesn't say dinosaur, we're not interested. Or it's removal. I will give removal a pass if it's not a dinosaur. We do need a lot of mana, but that's that's okay. I have faith. It's not a dinosaur, but it does allow me to cast dinosaurs. Yep. I mean, this has got to be the best one drop if I'm planning on doing dinosaurs, right? We're, we're essentially, we're trying to play low end because all we need to do is survive to Gishath. Um, and we fill the deck with dinosaurs. Even low end dinosaurs are going to be enough. There's another dinosaur. This is also removal. But it's not a dinosaur. There's another dinosaur. Yep. See, this is this is easy. I like this deck building. Does it say dinosaur? Uh, we've got nothing that says dinosaur. Oh, I'm lying to you, chat. We got something that says dinosaur. Am I drafting this though? The Sunbird standard could be very good. Give us a way to fix our mana. Rumbling Rock Slide is also very nice. I think it might legitimately be Sunbird standard. For the mana fixing. I'm sad because this doesn't say dinosaur on it. And this does. So I feel almost obligated to take this. But I think Sunbird Standard makes the deck a lot better. Sadly. Because it's just ramp. Who's hogging all the cards? It's a dinosaur. This is really good. But it's not a dinosaur. Nothing here says dinosaur. So I guess we get buried treasure because it's a ramp. So if we do Law Keeper, Buried Treasure, Sunbird, and on turn four we get a fourth mana, it's four, five, 
six, seven. Uh, but Gishath is eight. We need another one of these. We need a second. Ah, uh, no, because yeah. What we need is the green, the green uh, dinosaur that lets us gain three if we've got a dinosaur anywhere remotely near us. I need a lot of that card. Like, as many copies as the game will give me. So I can just tank damage by playing dinosaurs and healing for three. Okay, it doesn't say dinosaur, but this card likes dinosaurs. So I'll give it a pass. I'm a fan of anything that also likes dinosaurs. I'm so happy we got the Gishath. We've been trying for what? Is this, is this the third week we've been drafting? And we finally get him. And he's in first pick. Oh. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we do this. Maybe I should make a Gishath deck in standard as well. It'll be terrible. But, I mean, it'll be fun. Maybe. I don't know. Would it be terrible? How much ramp is it? No, there's not enough. Yeah, I don't think there's enough to make it playable. I know there's like a green-red dinosaur deck in standard that goes around that just plays that stupid one drop into the headbutt six drop thing, six power three drops. Um, I mean, I guess I don't mind. No, I'm probably not playing that, to be fair. It's not a dinosaur. Uh, there, let's put it in. Let's put it in for now. Because it also explores. Which isn't terrible. I need to go to the bathroom. Wait. Have we got a pack coming around? No. Be right back, chat. Ah, we're fine. Uh, let's take that. I don't know if it's any good. <sighs> none of you are dinosaurs. How am I supposed to play dinosaurs if none of you are dinosaurs? I guess we'll take the envoy. Another buried treasure. Come on, we just need more dinosaurs. That's all we need. Who is this guy? Maklav? Is he playing? Or is he just, like, storing up packs? Maybe it's like... I know some people um, have, like, a bot. Or just... Not even a bot, but just let the game time itself out and pick cards for them. Because they're not interested in playing. They just get the cards. Um, maybe he's doing that. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going around particularly fast. It looks like it's all stuck or, uh, stopped at him. Oh, well. That sucks. Yeah, well, I mean, some people don't enjoy draft, and I get that. And um, the Mastery Pass does give you a draft token. So you feel obligated to use a draft token, but if people don't care about draft and they're not going to play it, a lot of time they'll put it on and then just leave. I 
I mean, technically he's red. Uh, I should keep these cards in, because technically they're the colours that we are playing. They're just not dinosaurs, which makes me sad. I should probably take this... Oh, no. There's another Law Keeper. I should, I should definitely, I should 100% take this a braid. That is, that is the correct pick. But it's okay, because we're going dinosaurs. But yeah, um, it does really slow it down. But if people, I mean, magic's a game. People play however they want to play. So, yeah, it's just, yeah. It, it gets faster, but to begin with, you get like 60 seconds. And if people are just timing it out, they just sort of sit there. Like, maybe he is, like, really deep in thought, but holy Soul Cleaver is so good. But Earthshaker Dreadmore is also incredible. Uh, it has to be this, if we're doing dinosaurs. Um, yeah, but, like, I would say maybe he's, like, deep in thought about every pick, but by the time you get around to, like, two or three cards in the pack, there ain't much thinking. And the fact that he's got like two or three picks left and he's sat here still waiting, like timing out the cards, makes me think it's just someone who's not even playing. They're just sort of, they've set the draft off and they've walked away. Which is a pain because it means this guy's going to stop the entire draft. So we're going to be here for like 20 minutes just because this guy isn't picking anything. But it does have an upside in that because he's not picking anything in particular... It, the the uh, the computer kind of just auto picks the rarest card. It doesn't even think about what's good. Oh, God. This is the best card probably here in our colours. I mean, the best card is Chupacabra Echo by by far because this card is so good in draft. But. It's this, and I don't, I'm not too happy about it. But I mean, it's a double two, it's probably a two two with double strike, uh, or it's a one one with double strike that draws you a land. Yeah, well, again, this is, look, he's got six, he's literally just storing the packs. Like, I, I would agree with you, Zarek Tao, but it's been three or four weeks since the set came out, and he's literally just sitting here with all the packs. I, I feel, and when he's, he's not got, like, he's still in the first packs. I think this is still his first pick, right? I've picked three cards. He's still, these last, so these last two packs are still just the first ones that are going round, and he's still, so there's only like two card and one card left in here, and he's still just sat here. So it makes me feel like he's not actually playing. But, hey, it's just one of those things. I mean, I'm still very, I, I'm not super over the moon about our deck. We're still missing a bunch of three drop dinosaurs that we need. Uh, this is great. I'll take that. Yeah, two damage, all the greatest power among dinosaurs you control. And we're planning on doing a dinosaur deck. I know it doesn't look like it, but we are planning on doing a dinosaur deck. <laughs> we're trying, okay? We're trying to get a dinosaur deck, but everyone's taking all my dinos. <sighs> I will also say we probably won't be playing this draft today. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff I want to do, um, and after we finish this draft, especially with this guy slowing everything down, it's going to be half one, and I, if, if this deck does well, then it's going to take a lot longer than half an hour. If the deck does badly, then maybe it doesn't, but then it'll put me in a bad mood for the rest of the day because I want this deck to do well. And I don't particularly feel like being in a bad mood today. So we probably just won't do that. We won't play the games. We'll finish the draft, but we won't play them. Also, the new uh, Path of Exile season drops today, which I'm quite excited about. Because uh, I want to play it. I'm still terrible at Path of Exile. But, um... A. It's... It'll be fun. 
it would be much easier if I could look up some Path of Exile, you know, stream streamers and stuff like that and actually get the information that I need at. There we go, Armored King Caller. Uh, and the information I need off of them, but uh, every POE streamer just tells you to follow their build guide and then doesn't explain anything and just expects you to do it. And I'm just like, no, I'm right, thanks. Oh, I'd rather play. <laughs> so... It is what it is. I guess PoE's been out for several years now. At this point, they either assume you are invested enough in the game that you know what you're doing. I did. I did. It was a little bit heavier than stuff. I mean, I liked the, the guitars and drums and all of that. The, the metal is really good. But usually I like a, at least a combination of singing and growling in my uh, music. And that was just all growl. So, not my best, not my favourite song, but certainly not. I mean, compared to a lot of songs that I, a lot of music that I actively dislike, I would, I would listen to that over a lot of them. Uh, I guess we just take a hidden courtyard, right? We're probably playing white. I mean, we need to be playing white for Gishath at least, so. I'll take a hidden courtyard. Why not? Also, hey Yuki, how you doing? Nice, uh, nice to see you. You don't usually, I don't think you usually pop in for the magic streams because obviously it's probably not something you know anything about. But it's nice to see you, buddy. Uh, all of these cards are not interesting. I guess this puts a land onto the battlefield, so it's sort of terrible ramp. Man, this this pack three better just be all dinosaurs all the time. And everyone's just going to pass me dinosaurs. And then I'll be happy. Ugh. I don't know. Uh... I guess Child of the Volcano is probably more likely to proc than that one. Do we just take the landmark, I guess, to have an early thing? I don't know. I, this deck has gone real downhill in this pack. Or another child of the volcano which I'd like to take all of them out if I can and replace them with dinosaurs hold X thing is dinosaurs and I can't find any it's a red card oh, um. I guess maybe this guy He's apparently good. Again, we're really struggling to get the cards we want. I guess we take the Sunborn. All of these cards are just so meh. Fair enough. I'll uh, I'll try giving it a look. When you first linked me the name uh, Slaughter to Prevail, I was like, because um, one of the bands that I listen to is just called I Prevail, and I was like, wait, and then I stopped and went, oh no, it's a different band. Because you, you kept coming up with with bands that I'd listened to previously, like Dance, Gavin Dance, and stuff like that. Do we just take the dinosaur? It says dinosaur on it, and it's a mountain cycler. I should I should 100% be taking the Abrade here, by the way. The Abrade is so much better, but I'm really hurting for dinosaurs, and I want dinosaurs. So we're going to just take it. Uh, same again. Uh, we're hurt. This deck is not doing good. Like, the early game is just a jumble of garbage, and then the late game is as many dinosaurs as I can stuff in. 
And we're going to have to cut a bunch of cards. This, this deck is going to look terrible by the time we finish. We've got no removal either. God, this is going to be bad. All I needed was, like, in my last deck, in my, literally, my last draft, I had almost four of these. I could have had four of these easy. <sighs> I don't know. This, maybe? Yeah. I, I literally, in my last game, when I wasn't doing dinosaurs, I was just doing green, red, white you know, generate dudes, because I had the guy that makes tokens. We had three copies of Armored Kin Cooler. The one time I'm like, yeah, we're going to play dinosaurs. Can't find more than one to save my life. I guess Atali's favor's nice. But yeah, this has been... Uh, this has been a sad draft. Apart from the Gishath, which made me happy. But yeah, we... There's, there's a lot of cards. I think this comes out... This comes out, this comes out, this comes out, this comes out. I don't like you, I don't like any of you. Get all three of you out. You probably come out. You're a cheap dinosaur. You're a you can be crafted with dinosaurs and your draw. Do we think the let lattice is better or the dynamatron? Probably dynamatron. I think the lattice is... Well, we don't really have any draw. We probably don't need the buried treasures. I think the Sunbird standard is staying, though. But we just need as many dinosaurs as we can get. Oh, rumbling ro Another Rumbling Rock slide is nice. We can still fit one more card in, because we've got this hidden courtyard. So, yeah. The plan is, suffer early game, play Gishath, attack, make dinosaurs, profit. That's the plan. That is this entire deck's plan. <sighs> I guess we'll take an Ancestor's Aid. Give something first strike and make a treasure token. Uncommon for the vault progress. I suppose after this we'll open all of our packs that we got today as well. So it won't all be depressing, hopefully. We do also now have a Gishath because we drafted one, which makes me happy. Do, do, do. I do like As. I feel like they're nice little cards to have. Uh, maybe we take out this Seeker of Sunlight. I don't think we care for that. Do we? I mean, it's a 1-1 one, one that can steadily grow. But it's just not particularly exciting, I don't think. Yeah, I think I think this is fine. Wow, Grasping Shadows came... What? How is this card doing all the way around? I mean, any, why would you play anything that's not a dinosaur in a Gishath deck? I feel like it should all be dinosaurs. Uh, it's probably a forest I drop, right? Yeah. 
Right. So we're not playing, obviously. Oh, we have a random Wilds of Eldraine pack. I guess we'll open. Nothing particularly exciting. I know it says first, but I'm pretty sure I've seen these cards before. Anyway. This is where we might get something cool. I like Trumpeting Carnosaur. I would have very much liked to see a Trumpeting Carnosaur in that Gish after that. This Queen's Bay's Bay Paladin, I don't... Th I think this has a chance to be very good if there's actually ever a vampire deck or a vampire that you really want to bring back with this, but I don't... I haven't seen anything. Oh, just good in dinosaurs but aren't dinosaurs. I mean, that makes sense. I, I don't really know... Again, I haven't made a commander deck in however long, and even when I made commander decks, my commander decks sucked. Priest of the Waking Sun. I don't know what that is. Is that a recent card or is that an old card? Let's go find out. Uh, is this is this everything? I'm assuming I'm looking at everything. I I'm frozen, so I can't do anything. Oh. Well, uh, that's it for today, chat. Uh, I think I think we're going to end the stream. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow for some Path of Exile. Uh, <laughs> thanks for hanging out. It was fun chatting. And um, again, next week we'll be playing that Gishad deck. That'll be our first draft. If, um, if you miss it and you do want to see it, everything gets uploaded to my YouTube afterwards. So uh, hopefully I'll see you next week um, or tomorrow if you uh, want to come see what Path of Exile is like. The new season at least. Alright. See you later everybody. <laughs>